I'm here today with Rick Macy, who is arguably the greatest coach the game has ever seen. Your resume is, uh, is unmatched by other coaches in, in the game and um, still, very much, uh, still very much trending on the back of the recent film with Venus and Serena and, um, and, and the King Richard story. The movie King Richard has some great stories and really, I mean, we've, we've talked about these stories, but what I want to talk about today is some of the stories that we didn't see. Now, we had a conversation and I know some of these and they're, they're, it's good stuff. This, this 100% should have been in the movie. And if people can picture this, and I've told this story a handful of times, uh, it was July uh, 1991, uh, 1992, sorry. And I was on the court with Serena and Venus next door. They were always side by side. And Serena's standing there in the corner. Richard wasn't there. A lot of times Richard wasn't there, okay? And she's just standing there, kind of running the clock out. She's 11 years old. You know, I mean, you got to remember, it's like she's 11. So I said, Meek, because I never really called her Serena. I called her Meek because her middle name was Jamaica. I said, Meek, uh, and by the way, at the after party, she goes, Rick, you're the only one other than my dad, so I'm allowed to, allowed to call me Meek. I go, Meek, you got to move your feet. She goes, why? I said, what do you mean, why? You said you want to be number one. She goes, I will be number one. And she gave me that look. I think many people know what that looks like. You've seen that at the US Open, except now she has a racket in her hand, that look. And I go, well, how can I get you to move your feet? She goes, Rick, I'm really, really hungry. Can you have Scott go to the snack machine? I want some of those hot curly fries, a Snickers bar, a Pepsi. And on the way to work today, Daddy drove by a stand on the corner of Linton Boulevard, and they were selling Green Day t-shirts. Can you have Scott pick up one of those t-shirts? And if you see that girl on the court next, that tall skinny girl, she was talking about Venus because Venus is all arms and legs. I'll make her look slower than molasses. And I said, okay, so if I have Scott go get the curly fries, the Snickers bar, the Pepsi, and he gets that Green Day t-shirt, you're gonna move your feet? She goes, Rick, you have no idea. So Scott goes, gets the Snickers bar, the curly fries, the Pepsi. I said, Scott, the next day, you gotta bring a Green Day t-shirt here for me. So he gets all the goodies, he brings it back. Meek has her snack for 15 minutes. Goes back into the corner with the hitting partner for one hour straight, no water, popping the popcorn, extra butter, sweat is coming off this kid like Niagara Falls. Ripping ground strokes, cross court, down the line, just like a maniac, bang, bang, bang. It got to be 15 after three, I was now on the other court with Venus. She goes, hey, Rick, Rick. I turn around, she goes, you better have that Green Day t-shirt here in the morning. All right, now, listen, cocky, arrogant, no, that's confidence, okay? That's that little pit bull that Richard and I saw early on. But that's one of, that's one of the most famous Sarita stories. And if you could have pictured it, if that had been in the movie, that would have been just uh, amazing.